Um, I here, hereby call to order the work session meeting for the West Mifflin Area School District uh, to be held via Zoom. Meeting to begin at 7.04 p.m. Uh, today, Thursday, February 11th, 2021. Um, opening exercise is roll call. Mrs. Ahern. Here. Mr. Alexandrov. Here. Mr. Bennett. Here. Singler. Here. Ms. Kostelnik. Here. Mr. Marshall. Present. Mr. Mattis. Here. Mr. Desenzo. Here. Mr. Blazevich. Here. <clears throat> For the uh, numbers two, three, four, and five, that's part of our uh, regular board meeting. So I will go down to number six. <clears throat> six B is finance. Uh, number one and number two are part of the real estate tax refund. Uh, number three is part of normal uh, athletic department bills. It takes us to letter C, uh, purchasing and contracting. Uh, number one is the AIU program of services budget. And that is something that we purchase every year. That's annual. Uh, number two is a request for the mowing and trimming. Uh, that service is up. Uh, number three, it's uh, recommended that the uh, Fagan Sanitary Supply is renewed. Uh, this would be their fourth renewal to provide services under the district's housekeeping program. Letter D is the minutes uh, that are typical every month. And then letter E is our reports. Uh, the tax collector reports, that is uh, commonplace too. Um, number two, uh, three, and four is our normal reports. And the student activities account, uh, that should be completed and ready to go with an exact number for the meeting. Number five is the attendance officer's report, and that's typical as well. Uh, letter F, uh, that's the refund subtracted from expenditures. That's our normal bills. When we go to letter G, which is invoices, they are exactly as described. Uh, A and B, I believe, is our uh, normal billing procedures. And letter C is uh, in regards to the Century 3 Mall, which uh, Mr. Esper uh, told me that this is the commission's for delinquent taxes, and these fees were not paid by the district, but paid by the mall. So that's what that means. We go to number two, the construction fund. That is the normal billing for that. What I've been told, three, none, uh, four bills payable. That is uh, commonplace for us, which takes us to letter H requisitions and others. If we look at number two, the matters discussed are properly noted. And for number seven and eight, we see that there is no information available at this time, which takes us to letter C, buildings and grounds. This is, uh, you know, the normal building permits as presented. And I believe that that will go into number nine. Uh, Mr. Can I ask a question about yes. something that I covered? Yes. Feel free, Mr. Ellis. 6C2, the specs for the grass cutting. Yes. I know the company we had had the contract. It was renewed several times. Mm -hmm. And I know our maintenance crew had to keep up with the weed whacking and cutting the grass over again and everything else. Is there any way we could change these specs to increase them? or to follow up to make sure that the company does everything that they're supposed to? Right. Last year, we did, um, we did 
try to get other people to bid on the grass cutting services and this company came in low again. Um, and if you recall, two years ago, we really did have to get after them for cutting the grass. This past year, they did much better. Um, so, you know, the, the contract's up, so we, we put it out there to bid and see who we can get. Um, you know, the specs are going to be basically the same, the, the level that they cut the grass weekly. Um, there's not too much that we left in there bi-weekly. Um, so, you know, I can I can take a look at the specs and see what's going to increase. I just want to make sure that, you know, it. Um, as f I'm not saying, on, you know, nothing on you guys, but with them, if they could follow up, follow, if it means we change the specs for them to get the contract, but just to follow up to make sure that they're doing everything a little bit better. That's sure. All. We'll take a look at it. Do we get to look at the RFPs, or um, can we take a look at the RFPs before they go out? Sure. And you I can look at them, um, and, you know, we'll, we'll get it ready because we have to advertise it. Sure. In, in those publications, and, um, yeah, I can get it. I, I started working on it, so I can get it out to you, and you can see if there's anything you want to add differently. Um, yeah, I think so. I think it would just be helpful, I think, also for Nick to see it and all of us to see it and folks, especially in the Buildings and Grounds Committee, to see it before it goes out to make sure that it's specific and covers the weed whacking, exactly like Nick's asking about, um, before it goes out. I don't want to hold the process up, but I think just being able to see it. Okay. I don't want to stop the process either, but I just want to make sure that it it's actually in the contract for that they bid on for us to get them to follow through with it. Andy, is this something that our maintenance guys can take over permanently and we can eliminate the grass cutting? Bill, um, we talked about this um, lots of times. Uh, we don't have the equipment okay. anymore to do well, it. We, we still have the Kubota and the farm tractor at the high school campus. We have those, but we don't have, have to pull it on. we don't have a hillside machine. We don't have it. And you know, when I started here and we cut the grass, we had eight maintenance men, um, and we have five right now. But um, the the head custodians used to cut the the grass around the school with lawn mowers and and weed trimmers, and the maintenance men um, stuck to the the big yards and all of that. So, um, Cindy, what does this, this contract roughly run us? Uh, Forty-two thousand. Okay. And that's little for one more, year. A little bit more here and there. That that the machine we have up in the bleachers up the high school, the visitor side, that Kubota is pretty serious because it has a backhoe attachments and it has all the attachments in there. The attachments I, actually go on the old Kubota. They don't go on the new Kubota, and, and that was done before I started. The older one in there, the one in the visitor side bleachers, I believe them attachments were for that machine that's in there. The other one's the farm tractor and the other off the road going down to the baseball fields is the newer Kubota. But the other one has the attachments with it in the visitor side bleachers for a backhoe. Well, I and think everybody knows it, what, what I'm thinking. I mean, we talk about cutting jobs and then we're going to give a $42,000 contract to somebody that can do what our guys are doing. That's, we that's have $150,000 in two machines sitting there and a trailer to pull it on. Yeah, but Bill, are we going to, is it going to be more than $42,000? I don't know. We'd have to look at it. I'm, I'm thinking out loud. And I'm sorry if I'm out of turn, but it's, it's just, it's just a thought. Yeah. We have the machinery sitting there, especially the white Kubota. And a visitor side bleachers is a serious piece of equipment because it, it has attachments and everything out the trailer to haul it on is behind the scoreboard in the grass. It can't hurt to get the bids, look at the bids, and then make a decision at that point. And maybe yeah, in the would, meantime, we would need a piece of equipment that could cut hillsides because a Kubota cannot cut hillsides. Okay. You would need a zero turn. Correct. 
We can't hear you, Jeff. You're on mute, Mr. Sol or, uh, Mr. Souls. You should hear me from Mr. Solomon. Barely. Not really. He <laughs> still has mute on there, Jeff. With you. You probably need a vent tracks machine. That ain't working. Now, Mr. Salt, there you go. Any other questions uh, up until we covered? We were through seven. Any 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 other questions on six? I had a quick question on the Fag and Sanitary Supply. Um, I didn't understand. I didn't see any other supplemental paperwork on that. I didn't know what that was about. What is that? Okay, the, the Fag and Sanitary Supply, years ago, we, um, we put a bid out for all of our custodial supplies to come through one vendor. Um, and that's the vendor that we chose to use. Um, okay. So instead of having and bidding supplies from six or seven different vendors trying to keep up with MSDS sheets and all of that, we use the same chemicals in all of the schools and they provide us with our paper towels, toilet paper, um, floor waxes, not just the normal cleaning chemicals, but also the floor waxes and um, and that that kind of, the the equipment too, the vacuum sweepers and floor machines. Thank you. You're welcome. And then I'll be the one to ask this: Are these the final ABM bills? Do we know what's left? I don't believe like they, they are. I believe the there's retainage. Uh, but maybe. I don't know. I don't have them in front of me, so I, I believe there's going to be retainage. Usually there is a 5 to 10% retainage in the contract just to make sure that everything gets completed through a punch list, and then after a period of time, it's released. So I'm sure there's a small amount of retainage on there. But these should be, like, the final big bills. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? Um, let's see here. We got through, oh, actually, we did get through eight. Uh, right, Mr. Solomon? Yeah, we did. So we're at nine professional yeah, personnel? Yes, number nine. Yes, uh, we'll add things as we get ready for next week's meeting and after we go through executive session this evening uh, on personnel. So is that nine? 10, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, 12 substitutes. We have nothing at this time. Conferences, we have nothing at this time. And that takes us to 14 board presidents correspondence. I have nothing at this time. Executive session discussion. We'll have executive session after this. Correct. Uh, board, board reports. All right, I did email out an updated agenda for the committee meetings uh, a little bit ago. So we'll start with the uh, buildings and grounds. Uh, we'd like to ask uh, the board or the committee to recommend we replace some of the pool locker room benches. It seems that uh, over time uh, the metal has deteriorated uh, and they're no longer standing. So we'd like to replace those down in the pool locker room. Did we already do that? No, we did not. Do we, do we just have them? I thought I read something about new benches. I think that was brought up since the last meeting or at the end of the last, maybe in the hallway conversations, Judy. Okay, I thought it was emailed to us today. The yeah, invoice. I, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say that I think the invoice was in there for it. Oh, okay. That's probably what you saw, Judy. Yes, which made me think we got it already. We did an We're looking to add. Proposal for them. Okay, that was a proposal. Okay, I got it. And that's just the two swim locker rooms. Okay. Is the committee okay with us adding that to the agenda? Yes. 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 Oh. 
I'm not on that committee. All right. Under finance, um, we said out early. I'm sorry. Under finance, uh, the first thing we have is the crossroads service agreement for speech, PT, and OT. Uh, we, uh, through Mrs. Silvis's efforts, we went out uh, to see where we could cut some cost as far as our speech services, our OT and PT. And we have a local company, uh, Crossroads, who gave us a proposal. We did forward it off to Mrs. Damasio to make sure all the legal ease is good. And from there, she gave us the head shake that it was good, the head nod. And uh, we would like to propose that to the finance committee to add on to the agenda to move in that direction. It's roughly about a $300,000 savings. Sounds good. See no issue with that. Thank you. Mrs. Engler, Ms. Kostelnik, we good to put that on the agenda? Yes, I'm yes. sorry. I didn't hear Dave. Like, my whole screen's frozen here. <laughs> One of those days. Uh, the AIU budget is on the on the agenda already, but we wanted to make note that everyone should have had their booklet and uh, that was sent out from the AIU. And we also wanted to talk about the middle school uh, sales agreement. I think Mr. Damasio knows a little more about that than we do. And I think we're finally coming into the ends of this um, sale process. Yeah, so just so everyone understands, um, this is the, it, nothing's changed. Uh, everything's the same on it. What will happen is uh, once we pass this next week, we'll send it off to PennDOT. PennDOT's board has to approve the sale as well. And then um, we will have to ratify the minutes from next week's meeting. Once they get those from us in March, we will set up a closing date. Um, and I know Mr. Esper spoke with them as well earlier. Marcia, yes. Now, is this property being sold as is to the state in case there's any issues that the borough finds out later on, even though they're getting it from the state that the district has no um, culpability of fixing any issues. I don't know how the old buildings were ripped down. I know we had problem with somebody coming there and dumping stuff that was supposed to clean it up that didn't. Well, it's my understanding that the dumping recently was cleaned up. Okay. I believe the borough cited someone, if you correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Souls, and I believe that that person was um, required to remove that item, and if he didn't, he was going to be cited. So That's that was my understanding. Um, I think that was more towards our side of the property we retained in the carve out anyways with regard to the public works building as well. Uh, so, and as far as the demolitions, those were all done in accordance with the law. So I don't foresee an issue there. You had an environmental sign off on those demos, uh, which would have been routine. I don't think it's necessarily as is. We have to give them the general warranty. It's a general warranty deed. It's not a quick claim as is deed. Um, it's a general warranty deed to the borough. It is a unique transaction because we're being it's being purchased necessarily uh, by the by PennDOT, but it's being given to the borough, so the deed will go directly to the borough. The reason for that, in case anyone didn't understand, was because when they are extending the Montbeat Expressway, they are taking some recreational land from the borough, and they need to replace that. And this is a replacement of that recreational land to the borough. So with the committee's approval, we'd like to put that on the agenda to approve the sales agreement. I agree with that. Yes. Yes. I, I have a question. Uh, once that um, money is in our hands, we will pay the uh, loan right off to tear that we use to tear the old middle school down, correct? I would yes. Say, uh, yes, that's correct. Okay. Debbie, is that a wash? I'm sorry, I, I'm not familiar with you know. No, uh, what do we owe? Probably around three hundred. About a three hundred thousand dollars. We're getting a little over eight, so it's about a five hundred thousand dollar net gain. 
Okay, thank you. What is our, I mean, Joe probably would be best to answer this, but what's our annual or payment on that loan? That, that would be a, a Mr. Asper question. Yeah. Mr. Asper uh, informed me that there's one payment left. Okay. He also told me that if anybody has any specific questions, you know, please feel free to email him tomorrow or even today. Yeah, I do remember Joe saying that, um, Debbie, it might be less than that $300,000 now because we had to make a payment last year. And so I think there's only a payment left this year. So it may be less than the, that now. And wasn't the original cost like 800 some thousand dollars? So, I mean, I mean, it, it, we're gaining 500,000 this year, but at the end of the day, the building was ripped down just so we could give the property away. The sale price right now is 826,300. Yeah, and we, I think the original cost to rip down the old buildings was almost $800,000. I don't remember the exact number, so. You have to remember, so, we were, original talks were a little bit higher, but we decided to keep the public work, or the maintenance garage, and the maintenance garage, and we had to carve out that section. So we are maintaining our, our maintenance garage, which I think was a recommendation of Ms. Wells, we looked at other possibilities of moving that or rebuilding that, but would have created greater debt than us just maintaining what we have. I think we're good, Mr. Souls. All right, moving on to athletic and activities. Uh, it came as a request from Mr. Mann, our new head track coach, that he would like to open all the track assistant positions. Committee okay if we go I'm good with, with that? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, jumping down to education. Uh, we sent out the school calendar again. Uh, we asked for feedback. Uh, is there any, any uh, objections to moving forward with putting the proposed 21-22 school calendar on the agenda? No. Just to make sure, we're we're eliminating the snow days, right? With the remote days, and we also s signed up for the um, FIDs, so so we can we can't eliminate the snow days. Yes. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. Good to me. Thank you. And then we also uh, sent out to the uh, the board the Titan Academy Student Handbook that we would like to. Have the committee recommend to approve this month as well and that's our um, uh, site for individual help one-on-one -on -one to help get kids back into the uh, mainstream of the high school so we thought it important to have a, a handbook for them to go by the parents to go by so that's what we're asking if you would uh, approve putting on the agenda it sounded very good to me it reminds me of the old responsibility training which i thought was extremely effective so I think it's all good. Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, down to policies. Uh, PSBA, they're asking us to appoint a representative to PSBA. Uh, that would ask the committee to make a nomination, and that would actually be board approved. Uh, is there anyone who would like to be the PSBA representative, or anyone want to nominate? anyone to be the PSBA representative. Do we know what's on tail with that there? Yeah, so that's ask, what I was going to say. Nor normally what it asks the, is you go to Harrisburg once a year and you will vote uh, for the officers. You'll vote for certain um, uh, um, initiatives they want to take as PSBA, but it's yeah, you would actually be the voting member. I think Mr. Marshall will be well suited for that position. <laughs> Is there anybody on the policy committee that would volunteer? First of all, no, that would be great at it. I'm not on the committee. Oh, I don't know if I'd be able to go to Harrisburg with trying to take off the work, but I don't know. I, if I mean, nobody, nobody else wants, wants, nobody wants, wants it, it, I'll do it. 
All right, then. Me or you, Bill, you pick. Oh, I don't care, Dave. I really well, don't we, either. We, we can name one the first and then an alternate in case something happens and one of you can't go. We can name two. That's fine with me. As long as nobody on the uh, committee wants it. Okay, and, and I'll be it's your usually old in the, It's usually in the fall is usually the meeting out there, and it's usually held in Hershey at the Hershey Lodge. Okay. So yeah, for this year, I'll be your alternate. Thanks. Dave. I hope you get to go. Thank you, Bill. And then we also have uh, policies, the policies in the zero 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 range that we shared. We like to ask the put up for the first reading. We also have policy 011.1 that we like to ask to go to first reading. And we also restructured policy 919, I believe it is. I may be wrong, 918. It's 19. I think it's, it's 19. It's 19. 919 yes. to go for first reading. Yep, yeah, I'm good with that. I am too. Yes. Yes. Uh, that concludes the committee reports, and um, we now can move on to finish up our work session. Uh, Deb, do we have still center today? My report, we... My report will be given next week. Okay. Uh, 17 solicitors report. I believe that my report will mainly be given an executive session. We touched on a couple of things, the cornerstone agreement and the agreement on the Campola Road property. I believe everything else I have is a, my litigation memo that will review executive session. Great. Thank you. Um, any old business? Any new business? Do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Motion by Mrs. Ahern. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Bennett. Meeting adjourned. Uh, we will now go to the uh, second session meeting.